A quiet but seismic shift just happened. Google has officially rolled out wipe coding in Gemini AI Studio, a new way to build fully functional AI powered apps with nothing more than actually natural language. No SDKs, no backend integrations, no API gymnastics. Just describe what you want to build and watch Gemini assemble it. This is not just a developer update, this is actually Google making its biggest play yet to own the creation surface of the AI era. For years, Google has actually built the infrastructure for developers. Now, it's trying to build the tool for everyone else. And here's what actually shipped. Prompt to app. Describe the app of your dreams, a writing assistant, a classroom bot, an image editor, and Gemini wires up the right models and APIs automatically. I am feeling lucky which is actually a one-click option and, with a single click, generates app ideas on the fly for those who don't even know where to start. App Gallery 2.0, a visual library of pre-built apps you can actually explore, remix and redeploy. Annotation Mode, this is basically, instead of editing code, users can actually just point and talk to Gemini to make design and feature changes in real time. The Brainstorming Screen, even the loading screen feels creative prompts while your app is being generated. The goal definitely is quite brutally clear. Shrink the distance between an idea and a working app to almost zero. Wipe coding isn't just about replacing developers, it's also about unlock unlocking everyone else. Product managers and designers can build fully functional prototypes before engineering touches a line of code. Teachers and small businesses can create custom tools without even hiring agencies. Developers can skip boilerplate and start from a working foundation. Annotation mode makes this shift even bigger. By allowing conversational changes, Google turns software creation from a technical activity well into a very collaborative experience. But of course, it's important to understand that, well, minutes to app doesn't mean minutes to production. Let me clarify. Reliability remains uneven. Early testers report, well, looping builds and dependency breaks. Enterprise readiness isn't there yet. Governance, security and compliance still need guardrails. So basically, lock-in is real. Vibe coding leans heavily on Gemini's own APIs and hosting lens. Generated scaffolds will still require developer oversight to scale or go live. But that's the point. Wipe coding is not the finish line. It's actually the on-ramp. This launch fits a larger pattern. Gemini for code, well, developer assist. Gemini for cloud, deploy and scale. Wipe coding for creation, where actually the funnel starts. So think of it as Google positioning itself where actually the next billion apps will be born, not where they end up. So every remix in the app gallery Every brainstormed idea, every annotation is a user deeper into Gemini's ecosystem. This is lock-in through creativity. So finally, this isn't about writing code faster. This is actually about making code disappear altogether from the first step of the creative process. Please definitely let us know what you think about this in the comments below.